And just like that, guys, we are back home from beautiful Florida and the very cold New Jersey. It's like literally 55 degrees down here right now. So I don't know what happened or why New Jersey did not get the Florida memo. But um, we're back. We made it home safely. It was a super easy flight compared to uh, the disaster of the flights down there. So um, not cool what everything was perfectly fine. But like I said, we just got back. It is 9.13 at night. And we are, you know, literally right into the kitchen prepping everything for the week ahead. Now, guys, listen. Listen, I know people ask me all the time, like, Matt, how do you make your world-famous sweet potatoes? And now you guys are in luck because I literally get off the plane. I come back. We're cooking up some world-famous Matt Lee Fit sweet potatoes. So I'm going to walk you guys through this right now. Step one, what you got to do? You're going to cut the ends off the sweet potatoes. I'm not a big fan of, like, these, like, little stubs. I just feel like they taste funny. So we got to cut those off. Then you're going to slice and dice a little bit like this. Just make sure you never chop off a finger because um, that would not be good. But you're going to slice, 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 slice. I'm going to continue on with that later. So once it's sliced into like this not too thick of a piece right here, we're going to slice it up a little more into thirds, and then you're going to slice it again into thirds once more, and you get these little cubes, okay? So you're going to take these cubes, you're going to throw them onto a pizza pan. If you don't have a pizza pan, you can just use a long pan. It's perfectly fine. The same thing, guys. We're going to continue this pattern of slicing and dicing. Step number two is we're going to put some pink Himalayan sea salt and ground cinnamon on the potatoes. So literally, if you guys have the pizza pan or it's a regular pan, you're just gonna spread them apart. You're gonna coat these bad boys on here. Put some sea salt all over these potatoes. Good. Ground cinnamon all over the potatoes. Oh my goodness, man, look at that. Look at that. I feel like that salt they got, my ground cinnamon, babe. Okay. Woo! All right. Last but not least, guys, you're gonna spray some vegetable olive oil all over this. Kind of keeps them a little bit soft as you cook them. Boom, just like that. Boom. All right, you guys come over to the oven here. We have it set at 385. You guys can set it at 350 if you want. I just kind of want to cook them a little bit quicker, so I usually set them at 385. You gotta take them, you gotta lift them up, you gotta open up the oven, but stay away so you don't burn your face because it gets pretty hot in there. You gotta slide them in there. Taylor, are you getting the slide in? Okay, are you slide. getting that? Boom, yeah. slide them in there. Close it, then you wait like 15 minutes and we're gonna flip them. All right guys, step number three is you're gonna put on your oven mitt. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect. You're gonna open up the oven and you're gonna pull out the sweet potatoes. Now guys, a little, little big part of this all, it's been about 20 minutes. So I literally let them sit in there for about 15, 20 minutes and then I take them out. See how they're steaming a little bit? And then you're gonna wanna flip them guys. So get a nice little spatula, just flip them, just kinda you know, a little rough and rowdy with them. Get them all over the place. This is a big part of it, guys. This is a big part. Just because you don't want them sticking to the bottom of the pan. A lot of people make that mistake. I made it too. They just let them sit in there for the full duration. You come out, you're like scraping them off. They taste disgusting. It's just no good. So you really want to focus on trying to get as many flipped as possible. Now, guys, this is the hidden secret right here. You're going to get some more olive oil spray. You're going to spray them a little bit more. You want them moist. You want them juicy, you want them tasting perfecto, you know what I'm saying? So you're gonna spray them a little bit more, and then you're gonna put your oven mitt back on. You probably don't have to take it off if you put it on the right hand, but I always forget that. Open the oven back up. Taylor, are you getting the sliding in here again? You got that? Okay, cool. So you're gonna get that, close it. Um, honestly, I probably keep it in there for like another 20 minutes. Um, this doesn't really cook through there. I like them squishy and like really moist and soft. I know people can have them like crunchy. I just don't like it like that. I like them with why? Why do you make your why do you make faces? Look at this face she made when I said <laughs> Squ squishy, squishy I moist, and soft. I wouldn't describe sweet potato as squishy. But my, my sweet potatoes are pretty squishy. Soft. No, they're pretty squishy. Yeah. Guys, regardless, flip them after 20 minutes, put them back in for another 15 to 20 minutes, and I will show you guys the hidden secret. The hidden secret, now guys, I kid you not, like the, this next step is the most important step. Stay tuned. All right, fam. It is the moment you've all been waiting for. What is the secret part of the sweet potato recipe? Taylor, do you know? Do you know what it is? Why do you keep laughing at me? How is this so funny? <laughs> Woman. Because <laughs> when you're talking like this, you make the best sweet potatoes. Okay, guys, literally, the sweet potatoes are in there. It's been like an extra 15, 20 minutes since we just flipped them. And this is what I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. Literally, just shut the oven off and let those bad boys sit in there for an extra like 15 to 20 minutes. So I usually I'll shut the oven off right now and I'll kind of clean up the entire kitchen from the meal prep. But this is the extra oven time, guys, and it is freaking perfect. So definitely give it a try. Um, I don't know how you guys cook your sweet potatoes. Like I said, I've been doing this for like four years now. And is that one recipe? <laughs> Taylor just tripped on the oven. <laughs> what? 
it, you know, to put the knife down, girl. But it's just that one recipe, the one process that I figured out works best for me in terms of like how I like cooking them. Um, they're kind of like a sweet potato fry texture. So, I don't know. I might be rambling, but I think they're pretty dang good. Let me know how you guys cook them, though, but that's how you should do it about it. Um, like I said, an extra 15, 20 minutes in there. Keep them in there, let them cool down a little bit, and then I'll pull them out, put them in some Tupperware, and I am calling it a night, guys. But that is how your boy Matley Fit cooks his world-famous sweet potatoes. Guys, let me tell you something. There is nothing like sitting in bumper to bumper traffic each and every day on your way home from work. If you guys don't know, uh, I work like, I wanna say really realistically, it's probably like 45 minutes away from uh, where I live in Jersey. But with traffic every day, it's like an hour and a half. Um, so, it's a little rough, it's a little rough. But uh, honestly, I kind of, some days I kind of find it relaxing. Some days I put the music on and I'm like, all right, I don't, I don't, I don't mind this at all. But I feel like other days it kind of gives me an opportunity to kind of like uh, just think about life and just think about like Matley Fitz and the business and just like other stuff going on in life. Um, so it's kind of like my little space to kind of clear my head and like just think. It might be weird saying like I kind of enjoy traffic. Some days because I thoroughly kind of enjoy it some days. Some days I'm like just freaking gripping the wheel and I was like, ah! Some days I'm like, all right, man, I say too bad. I'd rather just relax and just think about stuff. But regardless, guys, we're on our way to the gym. And that makes it a little bit easier sitting in traffic, just knowing that I'm going to be at one of my favorite places in a little bit. And it's a push day today. And on top of that, we got someone new on the channel, my boy Mikey Cox. He's also competing in the Summer Shredding Classic. Um, so he's just a local guy back at home. Really great dude. A lot of people in the gym say him and I look like, which, I mean, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Let me tell you, kind of, he, he Kind of looks a little bit like Steve Cook. I kind of can see it a little bit. I don't know, you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. But I'm doing a workout with him and it's his first time ever on the channel. And there's only one way we gotta introduce him and bring him onto YouTube and that's with an edit, guys. So with that being the case, we're gonna hop to this push day edit in a three, a two, a one. The ball is over, call it close, but we all know what this is gonna be You came to fail the test, you met the best, expect the chest, but got monopoly I came and bought you out, I knocked you out, I cropped you out with no apologies I am the hope, the heart, the fate, the spark, the one who will fulfill the prophecy I just been counting, never lounging, climbing up mountains, bouncing back Step in the ring of us, just step back, damn long hot when I get on the track I like it louder than most, watching all these sheep just by down to the goat If I can't decide, I'ma probably get both, we gon' celebrate, but right now I'm a toast Resurrect the ghost Outside, outside, looking at the stars. Yeah. 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 You guys ready for this? It's good. Guys, just got back from the gym. It was a killer workout, and we came home to some one up nutrition goodies. I'm gonna put the tripod down. We got some more pre workout. We're gonna talk about that in a second. We got my absolute favorite protein powder in the world. And it looks like they hooked this up with some more swag, man. We got some white shorts. We got another tank top. Don't know what that is, but it looks like another tank top. We're just gonna throw those in the living room because I wanna talk about these two things real quick, guys. I kid you not, this is literally the best pre-workout I've ever had in my life. Um, I know it's fairly expensive on their site. If you guys do go check it out, it is around 50 bucks um, for a little over 30 servings, which, I do, and I'm gonna say this truth really, I really do feel like that's a little high for pre-workout, but the beautiful thing is they're constantly running 15% off their entire website, like literally all the time. Plus, when you guys use my discount code MLFIT20, you guys save an additional 20% on top of that 15%. So it's like 35% off. So after all that stuff, this really is not too bad. But guys, getting back to the pre-workout, it is a two-in-one thing. So a lot of times when you're looking for pre-workouts, you're gonna have pre-workouts that are going to be stimulant-based, and you're gonna have pre-workouts that are gonna be like energy-based, guys. Literally, one of nutrition has combined them all together to form one pre-workout. So that is why, like, the main reason why I feel like the price is fair for it, because you get the stim side, and then you get the energy side combined into one pre-workout, 
So I feel like this is an awesome combination. Plus, guys, I kid you not, this pre-workout has the most caffeine that I've ever taken in pre-workout in my entire life. If you guys take a full scoop, you're looking at 415 milligrams of caffeine. So if you guys are very caffeine sensitive, I do not suggest taking this bad boy. I mean, you can take half a scoop if you want, but the caffeine in here is freaking crazy. And like literally, I am super, super, like I have a high tolerance when it comes to caffeine, but I took this bad boy for a week straight and I was like, Whoa. I was all fired up, man. It was crazy. Um, so that's the pre-workout. Highly suggested, guys. But I changed up the flavor today, and I got the blue raspberry. So I'm super excited to try that out. Last time I had the, what is this? It was like the almond mango. It tastes like a pina colada, so it was really good as well. But, guys, this is what I really want to talk about because I kid you guys not. If you guys love Reese's Cups, and like, let's be honest, who doesn't love Reese's Cups? You guys are going to absolutely love this protein. It is the chocolate and peanut butter blast. It is freaking incredible guys is this like ah, this is so rich in taste like literally it tastes like someone just took a Reese's cup grinded it up in a powder form and a bada bing bada boom it is phenomenal guys um so with this too you're looking at two grams fat five grams carb and then 25 grams of protein so all in all guys it is a very good way isolate the protein right here highly suggest it absolutely love it guys they have a ton of great flavors but that is my absolute go-to each and every time so if you guys want like a little bit more in-depth like review video about these bad boys just let me know and i'll be happy to uh get that out for you guys but like i said ml fit 20 will save you 20 percent um, on your one-up order, but like literally they're always wanting 15% off like deals anyway So you guys can save 35% really if you guys look um, But I try to market that as much as I can on my Instagram And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, boom right there Matt Lee Fit. But guys before we end this one I feel like I got to show you guys a current physique update because we are officially eight weeks out from the summer shredding classic It is flying by now guys mind you we just had the workout. It is like later in the afternoon So we have a lot of food in us right now But this is the current physique at eight weeks out, man. It's like so weird you gotta do that blowout noise, but it is what it is. Left side and up. Uh, I'm gonna fly away. I'm gonna fly away. But um, that's the current physique, guys. Eight weeks out, like I said, we're sitting at still 189 pounds, but I'm seeing a lot of awesome changes each and every day. Um, we're tightening up in the midsection now. Um, the striations are starting to come back, but we just have so much time to play with and I'm just so happy with my physique set right now. So I am fired up, guys. We'll talk more about that in the next video. Um, just because like I said, this is a very long prep. I'm doing a 16 week prep right now. Um, in the years past, I've only ever done like an eight to 10 week prep. So a lot has changed this prep. A lot of like different body composition stuff is going on differently than I noticed when I've done really quick preps. So all in all, we're gonna save this for another video. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button for your boy. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.